What's up, family? It's Shanetta, brother Andre, 360 degrees, wholeness, balance, perfection, and power. Um, real quick, Bill, I was um, speaking with my peoples up north the other day, and um, we was talking about how, uh, you know, they wasn't feeling good the other day, and they had to uh, call out of work. And I let them know I, I wasn't feeling good, and I left work early the other day. You know what I mean? They was like, you wasn't feeling good. And I was like, yeah, I was messed up the whole night before. Um, now, a couple of days ago, it was raining a lot here where, where I'm at. And uh, those who have had surgeries, you know, in the past, you know, my elders have told me that they could feel when the weather changes and stuff like that when they had surgeries. And I'm like, huh, you can feel when the weather changes? What you talking about? You know what I mean? They're like, yeah, you can feel when the weather changes. And you, if you had surgery, you, you know, you feel more pain or whatever. You're more uh, aware of that, uh, of that, um, that injury that you had or whatever. It lets you know that it's still there. And I'm like, okay, okay. But it wasn't until the other night that I realized how true that is because, um, I haven't had a lot of pain in the area where I had surgeries at um, in a while. But for some reason, the other night, yo, this 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 pain was throbbing. It felt like I had a knot. Um, it, it, it made me feel like, it, it was a numbing, tingling sensation, but at the same time, it was a throbbing pain. And then at the, you know, at the same time, it was making me feel like it was I was having difficulty breathing. So I'm like, what in the world, am I tripping? I'm sitting up like, maybe I need to go outside and go for a walk, get some fresh air. Do I need to go to the hospital or what? You know what I mean? And, and I don't like messing with no doctors. I don't like taking no medicine, stuff like that. So I sat there and, and, and gritted my teeth and, and, and fought through it and made myself go to sleep. Pushed myself in to go to work the next day. But I was just like, no, nah, my body needs, you know, some sufficient rest. And I took the rest of that day off and, and went on back home and got me some rest. And I feel good now. Now it's a nice day out here. It's sunny. Ain't no raining. I'm feeling even better. You know what I mean? So it confirmed that, you know, to me for the first time, and I felt that before, but now I'm really more spiritually attuned and aware, you know what I mean, and awakened, you know what I mean, than I ever was. So it, just, it was just confirmation to me that, that that was truth, that what my elders were telling me. And that, you know, as I told my people, the only explanation for that is that we are one with the elements. You know what I mean? Um, we are made up of the elements. First of all, let's 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 talk about that. You know, what I mean, when you are, you are made up of the elements that, um, and, and you came from those elements as well. You came from them in the atmospheric um, energy, which is an extension of the cosmos. You know what I'm saying? Which is an extension of the source that created them and all in existence. You know what I mean? So, being that you are made up of all of this in the elements, when there is a change in the weather slash atmospheric pressure and conditions your body naturally or we use the english word naturally reacts with those changes as well you know what i mean our bodies adapt to whatever climate we are in period but um you know because we adapt to those um whatever climate we in naturally whether you've had surgeries or whatever you know what i mean you you have black people or melanated people in africa where we'll give you for instance the air is thick hot dry because of the thick, hot air there, we have wider noses to breathe in that thick, hot air. As well as um, we have thicker hair to, uh, to deal with, the, with the, um, the heat and the temperature there, you know what I'm saying? We have thicker features, stronger features, period. You know what I mean? We're melanated people, strongest people on the planet. That's just, just facts. But um, when melanated people reside in colder regions, like mountainous regions where high altitudes are at and it's colder, um, we have uh, thinner hair. You know what I mean? Thinner noses, sharper facial features, etc. Now, wherever you are, wherever we are, our bodies feel these changes in the atmosphere and in the weather. You know what I mean? Well, we feel the, the changes in the atmosphere and the weather conditions, as I said earlier. However, those who have had surgeries, you know what I mean? Those who have had surgeries, they often feel it more than others because of the prolonged periods of time. You know what I'm saying? Of the opening in our bodies, being exposed to the elemental energy immediately outside and around our bodies during the surgical procedure. Now this may sound too deep for some, far out for others, and crazy to those who aren't truly attuned with their higher selves and have an understanding of their oneness with energy, you know what I'm saying? And their connection to the ecosystem around them. You know what I mean? Just like outside things can affect the, out, the outside ecosystem like pollution in the waters. Pollution in the land, pollution in the air, 
you know what I mean, etc. Your internal ecosystem can be affected as well. You know what I'm saying? Them outside ecosystems can be affected by things um, outside of fear, eh, interfering with them or interacting with them. What makes you think that your inside ecosystem can be affected also when you're breathing in from these elements? You're breathing in the atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? You can pick up bad vibes, you know what I mean? Being around the wrong people and in the wrong areas. That's why it's important to save yourself as well as your kids, house, etc. You know what I mean? But just as you can pick up bad vibes or of energy in your ecosystem, you can also pick up diseases that contaminated the food, the water supply, etc. Like in Flint, Michigan, for, for instance. You can pick up you can pick up airborne viruses too, like the common cold, the flu, etc. So if you can catch all of this and it affects your internal body's ecosystem, then what makes you think that a deep opening in your body for a prolonged period of time during a surgical procedure wouldn't affect your body's natural susceptibility and awareness to the immediate outside elements and atmosphere that it was exposed to. What makes you think that? You don't, you don't got a big deep cup inside you so they can perform some surgical procedure. You know what I mean? And you think that it's not gonna enhance your body's awareness, you know what I mean, and susceptibility to outside, you know what I mean? atmospheric pressure, conditions, germs, energy, period. You know what I'm saying? When you can feel energy and, 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 and catch germs like the common cold and all that without no cut or you know, opening in your body. You know what I'm saying? We breathe these elements. We breathe the atmosphere. You are one with it. You know what I mean? So you got to be careful with the areas you in. You know what I mean? Now back to what I was saying, that's why those who have had surgeries are more apt to have and feel more pain or soreness in that area of their body that was worked on during um, surgical procedures. You know what I'm saying? When you feel weather um, changes and atmospheric pressures, that's the reason why, okay? Your bodies are more tuned to nature and the elements even if you yourself aren't, you know what I mean? We are naturally attuned to what we are naturally um, one with and an extension of and a part of, you know what I'm saying? Even if you mentally aren't aware of it or consciously aren't attuned, you know what I'm saying? These are just facts. And that can only be if you're one with nature, you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna feel something that you're not a part of, you know what I mean? If, I, if I'm working on a crib, doing some um, work around the house or something like that, and I'm hammering something, and then I'm missing, hitting my thumb, my I'm hurt, you know what I'm saying? Not just my thumb, I'm hurting too, ah! You know what I mean? I'm hurt. You know what I mean? Just some, on some real shit. Just trying to give y'all example. You know what I mean? My thumb, my pinky, my whatever is 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 a separate entity in itself, but it, but it's still part of me. You know what I'm saying? My hand is separate from my from my um chest, but at the same time, it's a part of me. It's an extension of me. Like branches on a tree. That's what we are. You know what I mean? We are branches of the ecosystem. We are branches of the energy that created everything in existence. That's what Einstein meant by his law of relativity. Everything is related. There's no such thing as separation. So, you know what I mean? I'm going to address you as the natural rule that you are. And in my closing, as I say to you, tune in and know who you are. And you will also know the depth of why things are naturally happening around you as well as within you. Shanetta Brother Andre 360. Holding this balance, perfection, and power. Ashe. Hope I didn't go too deep for y'all. Um, just wanted to explain something to y'all on why y'all feel pain more um, during weather changes and stuff like that if you've had surgery. You are one with nature. You are one with the elements. You are made up of the elements. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody tell you different. You know what I mean? You are a divine being. You know what I mean? You're an extension of the cosmos. Enjoy your day. Hopefully that gave y'all a little insight. You know what I mean? And um, like I said, man, tune in. You know, you're more than what they will tell you or will let you ever let you know. You are way more than they will ever let you know. And therefore you are more powerful. And they fear that. Like I said, Shanetta Brother Andre, 360, wholeness, balance, perfection, power. Enjoy your day. Peace.